These videos are educational in nature and are designed to help people over 21 who smoke cigarettes switch to a less harmful alternative. What's up everybody, Grim Green here. Just because it's been around in some headlines, I wanted to touch today on cardiovascular disease and vaping. Keeping in mind, I am not a doctor. I am not a scientist, I'm just a lay person who reads medical journals and relies on people much smarter than myself to disseminate that information. This today is a really interesting example of possibly accidentally spreading good information on the internet. The Mike Bloomberg funded PAVE organization are staunch anti-vaping prohibitionists. Their arguments seem to come more from a moral standpoint than a scientific standpoint. They like to sow doubt about harm reduction and seem to have forgotten or at least don't seem to care about all of the death and disease that comes with smoking combustible tobacco cigarettes. Well, just a few days ago, Pave put up this tweet and it's still up and the title of it says, E-cigarettes and cardiovascular health, the risks of vaping. The tweet is very telling for a lot of reasons. The headline says the risks of vaping. And I think that Pave just saw the headline that says risks of vaping and didn't actually, you know, read the article. Now, to be fair, there are some anti-vaping talking points in the discussion in this article around these studies, like Michael Blaha from the John Hopkins University claiming to have evidence but not actually ever providing that evidence that youth vaping is a gateway into youth tobacco use and youth smoking. Maybe Michael from John Hopkins University isn't aware of the CDC's National Youth Tobacco Survey that they do every year, but according to that data, youth cigarette smoking has dropped an astonishing 90% since its peak in roughly the late 90s. In fact, less youths use any nicotine now, smoking or vaping, than they did in 2018 when the FDA declared a vaping epidemic. Daily youth cigarette use currently sits at under 1%. So Maybe vaping leads youths to smoking cigarettes, but so far, none of the data from CDC's National Youth Tobacco Survey, which is the only data that we have on this topic, none of the data reflects that. As of 2021, over 90% of middle and high school students don't use nicotine in any form. But anyway, back to this risks of vaping piece. If Pave had bothered to read down this article, to the third paragraph, they would have been faced with this information. In a 2022 study funded in part by the National Institutes of Health, Berlowitz et al. conducted a longitudinal analysis based on self-reported data from roughly 24,000 adult participants, studying the link between e-cigarette use and incidence of cardiovascular disease. After adjusting for covarities, including demographic factors, comorbidities, and smoking history, analysis showed no difference in cardiovascular disease risk between exclusive e-cigarette users and non-users of combustible combustible cigarettes or e-cigarettes. No difference between e-cigarette users and non-users, meaning someone who vapes nicotine every single day is at no higher risk of cardiovascular disease than someone who doesn't smoke and doesn't vape. Accidentally spreading good information on the internet. The piece that they posted actually backs up the argument of using e-cigarettes or vapor products for smoking cessation. I'm guessing that PAVE may have just skipped over all of those pesky data points and sciencey things just so they could go down and agree with the John Hopkins guy who's baselessly spreading gateway myths. And because I feel like PAVE just needs a little bit of a refresher course, smoking cigarettes damages almost every organ in your body. It introduces over 5,000 chemicals in your system that go directly directly into your blood, brain, and organs. Smoking cigarettes causes a myriad of diseases as well as at least 15 different types of cancer. I got that information from Cancer Research UK who also say things like, E-cigarettes have got a fantastic role to play in smoking cessation. They really are probably the biggest opportunity we've got to help our, our smokers stop. So dear Pave, thank you for posting this study. We can now add this science to the overwhelming mountain of science that we have showing vaping for smoking cessation, tobacco harm reduction. If you are a current cigarette smoker, please do not listen to PAVE. There is no better time to quit than literally right now. Switching is quitting, and there is a world of safer nicotine products out on the market in the description of this video. I'm gonna put links to Just Science and Just Education. 
This has been a Grim Green video. Let's stay smoke free and think critically every single day. <coughs> it's like 10.30 and I'm uh, just gonna smoke, so 